Okay, this is uh, number two from the 2013 Calc AB exam, and it's a problem where you are given velocity. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to store the function. So v of t is set equal to negative two plus, and then the quantity t squared plus three t to the six fifths power, and then minus t cubed. All right, and it says done, which means I've stored it. Um, I want to know all values between t equals 2 and t equals 4, for which the speed of the particle is 2. Um, so what I'm going to do is insert a graph. I'm going to ask the calculator to graph the absolute value. So that's in the, uh, whoa. That's in the uh, second row, first column. The absolute value of v. But remember, when you're uh, graphing, you have to graph with x as your variable. You have x. And then I'm also going to change my window to uh, be between 2 and 4. And there we go. And I'm going to add the line 2. So I'm looking for all the places where it is equal, it being the speed is equal to 2. So analyze graph, find the intersection. Um, lower bound to whoa and then do it again so analyze graph intersection and calculator is not really happy about this all right so i have my two values i have 3.128 i would say and 3.473. So on my paper, I would have just written absolute value of v of t equals 2, and then uh, t equals three, approximately 3.128 and approximately 3.473. And that's part A. Um, part B, I have to write an integral expression. So let me insert a calculator here. Um, so the expression that I'd end up writing is uh, s of t equals... Um, you start at uh, 10, so it's 10 plus uh, the integral. So this is what I would write on my paper. The integral from 0 is where you know to t of v of, I don't know, like I'm going to say x. Let's go with dx. So that's what I'd write on my paper. That's an integral expression that gives you the position at time t. Um, I don't know. Whoa. All right, well, not really going to use that. And uh, then what I would do is, well, actually, I could use that. Let me go back here, and instead of just saying equals, I'm going to say colon equals and store that thing like that. And now what I need to do is find the position at 5. So that's just going to be S of 5, which uh, is, the, is 10 plus the integral from 0 to 5 of V of x dx, which is approximately negative... 9.207 um, and you get this uh, creepy message here result obtained using approximate arithmetic so uh, pretty confident that it's right but that's pretty scary and the next thing we want to do is find the times between 0 and 5 which the particle changes direction so a change in direction means that velocity has a sign change so let's go back and graph v of x again and change our window so that it's the window we should use. So window, I want to go between 0 and 5. And now I'm just looking for zeros. So analyze the graph, find a 0 here to here, and repeat the process. Find the 0 from here to here. Um, so the particle changes direction uh, when velocity has a sign change. Velocity has a sign change at t equals 0 0.536 and at 3.318. Um, so that would be my answer to part C. And then part D says, is the, let's add a calculator page, is the speed of the particle increasing or decreasing at t equals 4? So I need to know v of 4. Uh, v of 4 is negative, and then I also need to know 
um, v prime of 4. So v prime of 4 is a of 4, so acceleration. So a of 4 equals v prime of 4. And then let's have our calculator get this. Uh, the variable is actually t. And then I want this at 4. And I want the derivative of v of t. So acceleration is negative. So velocity is negative. Acceleration is negative. Therefore, speed is increasing. Because anytime velocity and acceleration have the same sign, speed will be increasing. Um, and that's the little problem. And I hope you found this helpful. Good luck studying.